Hello guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, we're going to be installing and configuring the SSL certificate. It's for Apache. I'm doing this for Apache and yes, let's get started. So first of all, we need to create and issue a certificate. I'm going to do it for with the website sslforfree.com. So right here where it says to enter your domain, you should enter your domain and click on the button create free SSL certificate. So as you can see there are three options and um, one of two of them we're not going to do and we're only going to do the middle one that is the manual verification. If you don't have your website up and running, you can try to do it with the DNS manual verification. And let's get started. So to begin, let's click on the button manually verify domain, scroll a little bit, and then we're going to go through these seven steps all together. So begin by downloading the first file, then the second one, and then as you can see, you have to create a well-known folder in your root folder of your web application or website. So create a new folder here. If you're on Windows, you have to finish the name foldering with a dot. So it can be created with a dot at the beginning. So let's make another folder. First, let's copy paste the folder name here, which is Acme Challenge. So create a new folder and then paste the name there. Open it and copy or cut and paste the files that we just downloaded. And there you go. So right now you have the, the files in the folder that we created. Um, then the next step is to verify your files if everything is okay with them if if it can be accessed so the first one is that one and the second one is this one so as you can see both of them were successfully um, accessed sorry for that I have to delete them Um, the next step is to, if you have your own um, CSR, you can paste, copy paste it here. Otherwise, you just you can just click the download SSL certificate, and it will take up to a minute or so to to create your and verify your certificate. So wait for it. A couple of more seconds, I guess. Still verifying. So now you can see it's generating. And there you go. So that was the creation of these certificates. As you know, they are only valid for 90 days. So after 90 days, you, you have to do the same steps again. Um, here, if you want to put your emails, okay, to create your account or login, whatever you want. So here, as you can see, you have your certificate here at the beginning, then your private key and your CA bundle. So what you have to do now is download all these certificate files. And then you can either close or minimize this window and then go to your certificate where you download it. It's right here. You extract it with whatever program you have for extraction. And here, as you can see, you can see this. You have your private key, your certificate, and your bundle. So each one of them, now you're going to... Or, so, yeah, um, if you have Apache, for example, you can cut and paste all these certificates 
in the appropriate Apache folder which is the configuration and the SSL folder so as you can see you can copy paste them here and then you copy paste the name of the bundle let's start with the bundle then you go to your Apache configuration file which is um, this file so the HTTP D, no the HTTP um, ahssl.config or whatever configuration file you have for SSL and what you have to do here let's remove this code to make it clear and also this one to make it also clearer so what you will have to do is then where it says change file over here you have to copy and paste this you have to paste this bundle yes and then if you want it's not necessary but I think you can remain rename it so instead of instead of CRT you're going to be using let me see the CA bundle um, it's not necessary but I think it's better to do this way so you can make a distinction about the bundle and the certificate so yes okay so now you can copy paste, copy and then paste this name here you have to make sure that you're in the right folder so I'm right now in the root and then in the config and then in the SSL folder and then you do the same for all the other files mm -hmm. let's do it um, really fast so certificate this one and then you go to this one and then let me see did modify this is your private key and this one you're going to copy you're going to copy and then paste it here and then after you do that using your domain you can just restart your um, you can just restart your your server here and it should work so let's do that right now so yes as you can see I put my original um, configuration so I can restart my server I use the new issued certificates here you can see they are the same you have the private key you have the certificate itself and the bundle so right now I can just restart my Apache and then after it restarts you can go to a new tab and just copy paste your domain using the HTTPS protocol and as you can see here the it's using the new certificate that we just installed okay here I'm using another I'm using at card but it's not important for you it should be issued by the SSL for free company okay so that was all I hope you did everything well and it works otherwise you can leave a comment or ask questions okay thank you for listening